Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Things have got on the way here pretty promptly. KG early on from both sides. Hoists it forward, cuts it out. Zambo and Gisa. Well, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and uh, excitement. Forget it. Sambo and Gisa. Plays it out to the wing. Sambo and Gisa. Turns and goes back. Plays it into the box. They've managed to get it away. So who's he picking out? Big chance! Good first touch and almost as good a second. And that's a great effort. There was very little backlift to indicate what was coming. Played out to the right. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Well positioned to make that interception. And it's played forward. Chupa Morting. Looks to clip it forward. Goes for goal! And it's a goal! And it's Cameroon who take the lead! Cameroon are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Cameroon take the lead, 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Cameroon got their goal at the end of the first half, and the score is 1-0. That's the whistle for half-time. There we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has 
only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Cameroon leading 1-0 at the break. So we're already into the second period. Cameroon going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Nicely controlled, and the weighted pass. Defence has got rid of that. Beautifully done. Battles to win it back. Chance! It's broken loose. Forward it goes. More than happy to take the muscular approach. And that is not finding anyone. It's gone out for a throw in. Sambo and Gisa. Lofted into the middle. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, it's a natural instinct to defend when ahead, but it's too early for them to settle into that practice just now. Sambo and Gisa. Balls loose, who's getting there? Oh, that's nice. Looking for a decent ball in. Has a pop! And now they can launch a counter. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Chupa Motting pings it out wide. There are a few waiting for it. Sambo Angisa plays it out to the flank. Hit into the middle. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well, that's a foul, free kick's been given. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Towering header! Oh, just needed a better contact. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Chupa Motting provides an outlet. Has a goal! Not this time. He had a good feel of the, the whole situation and he's acknowledged the service. <laughs> Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, you have to feel a little... And there goes the final whistle. Cameroon, hold on. It's a narrow squeak. 
bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Well, Peter...